Hey students, how are you? So today in this video, we are going to talk about two topics, which are arrangement of ions in ionic compounds and the factors affecting the formation of cation and anion. So firstly, let's see about the arrangement of ions in ionic compounds. So now I have a question for you. Did you know that how cations and anions of an ionic compound exist in its solid state? Now if we take the example of NaCl compound, then if you think that the pairs of Na plus and Cl minus as units would be present in the solid crystal of sodium chloride, if you think so, then it is not correct. Yes, this Na plus and Cl minus combinedly exist in the form of a cubic lattice crystal structure. And this is because forces of attraction is not restricted to a single unit of Na plus or Cl minus ions. That's why due to an uniform electric field, each ion is attached to a large number of other ions. Like for example, in this case, if we see then one Na plus will not attract only one Cl minus ion. It can attract as many negative ions as it can. Means it is not restricted. Similarly, the Cl minus ion will also attract several Na plus ions. So as a result, it will be a regular arrangement of ions, which is known as lattice. Now here, in this case, each Na plus ion is surrounded by 6 Cl minus ion. And each Cl minus ion is surrounded by 6 Na plus ion. And this chain will go on. And also these number of ions of opposite charge that surrounded a given ion of given charge is known as the coordination number of that given ion. For example, in sodium chloride crystal, the coordination number of Na plus is 6 and that of Cl minus is also 6. Okay, so now after this, as I said, that one ion doesn't attract only one opposite charge ion to it. It attracts multiple opposite charged ions. So it means that the electrostatic forces applied by these ions are non-directional, right? Now what is electrostatic forces? So simply the forces between the charged particles, either it is repulsive force or attractive force, is known as electrostatic force. And these forces are non-directional because these ions are not getting attracted by only one opposite charged ion in one direction. It is getting attracted by multiple opposite charged ions in multiple directions. That's why this is non-directional, right? Okay, so now let's move to the second topic, which is the factors affecting the formation of cation and anion. So in previous topics, we have already learned that Metals have the tendency of losing electrons to get an octate configuration in their valence shell. And this property is called metallic character or electropositivity. And the elements with more electropositive character form cations. For example, sodium, calcium, aluminium, etc. can form cations. Now, similarly, non-metals have the tendency of gaining electrons to get an octate configuration in their outermost shell or valence shell. And this property is called non-metallic character or electronegativity. And the elements with more electronegative character form anions. So, some examples of this are oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, etc. can form anions. Okay? So now this tendency of losing electrons to form cations or gaining electrons to form anions depends on some factors which are atomic size, ionization potential, electron affinity and electronegativity. Now in this the atom size is simply the normal atom size you already know. After this, the ionization potential means the energy which will be sufficient to ionize the electrons and remove them from the atom. That energy will be called ionization potential or ionization energy. Then after this, the electron affinity means the amount of energy released when an electron is added to a neutral atom to form an anion is known as the electron affinity. Now this electronegativity means you already know that the tendency of gaining the electrons of a non-metal is called electronegativity of the atom, right? Okay, so lastly there are some more important things to remember which are 
द एटम्स ऑफ एलिमेंट्स विथ लो आयोनाइजेशन एनर्जी लो इलेक्ट्रॉन एफिनिटी विथ हाई एटोमिक साइज एंड लो इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी फॉर्म कैटायंस एंड द एटम्स ऑफ एलिमेंट्स विथ हाई आयोनाइजेशन पोटेंशियल हाई इलेक्ट्रॉन एफिनिटी विथ स्मॉल एटोमिक साइज एंड हाई इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी फॉर्म एनायंस ओके इज इट क्लियर ओके